Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you for watching. So a few weeks or so ago, I caught a Christmas time sell from Rockler and I purchased myself a new router bit. It wasn't terribly expensive, but um, it was fairly expensive. <laughs> I don't wanna say it was like 30 bucks uh, without the sell and like 20 some dollars with the sell. So what I got here is this guy right here, which is a one inch bowl making bit. And so I have not tried it out yet, and I'm going to. However, I'm going to try it out on my X-Carve to start out with because I have got a number of projects that I need to make, and the X-Carve seems to be the most efficient and effective way to do it. Um, I have not had great luck with me, myself, routing manually using router bits. So I was hoping the x -Carve could um, create more reproducible, higher quality results. So I'm gonna start with this bit, and then I'm also going to use another bit, which has apparently run away. Stand by. So two bits here. Uh, you can see this bit here, which is a completely round bit. It is 3 eighths of an inch. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Uh, there you go, pretty good focus. Uh, it's completely round, three-eighths of an inch round over. I've been using this to create the juice screws on my cutting boards. And then I got this new bit, which is also, it's uh, I guess officially known as a bull nose <laughs> um, bit, uh, but you can see I haven't taken the little rubber bits off of it yet, um, but it has a round over here and that is a quarter inch that is a quarter inch round over, but it is an inch thick. And this guy is, I believe, half an inch thick. They are both one half of an inch tall, however. All right, so um, I've done some tool pass infusion. I'm gonna video my uh, different uh, experiments to see how fast and how deep I can cut with this bit to achieve an appropriate chip load. Um, and so let's let's get on with it. Thanks. Okay, here we are. I stayed up to almost midnight last night, uh, routing things. <laughs> uh, it took me quite some time to figure out how to get the juice groove in Fusion to work properly, but I was able to ultimately get it done, and I'd like to show you some results. So I'm gonna try and move the camera around to get some uh, shots from down above, um, down above, don't know what that means. To get some shots from above might be a little bit easier to configure and uh, point out what I want to point out. But so let's cut over to the other camera. Uh, so what I have here is first I did a cut in maple and then I have uh, three separate cuts in walnut um, of different configurations and geometries. So we'll talk about the, the maple first. This was a, a little scrap piece of leftover that I had. So I did a, uh, it's a, about an inch thick. So I did about a half inch down at different depths of cut, all the same feed rate. Uh, for the other ones, I actually tried different feed rates and different depths of cuts as an experiment. Now, uh, walnut and maple are similar in hardness, uh, closer than some other woods. They're not terribly close necessarily from a Janka hardness perspective, but uh, it was, again, an experiment. So what we have here is the first cut that I made. It is in, at 80 inches per minute at a uh, 16th of an inch depth of cut, which is a uh, 0.0625. Next, I did 80 inches per minute at an eighth inch, 
and then I did 80 inches per minute at 3 16 of an inch, uh, 1875, and then 80 inches per minute at a quarter of an inch, which is 0.25. They all turned out very well. The, the bottoms are very smooth. Um, the, the surface finish actually was very good. Uh, I will tell you, the, the, the deeper I got, uh, the, the less smooth the surface finish was. And you might be able to see a little bit of uh, the wisps that are on this one in particular. It really demonstrated the most. Um, all of them had a little bit of chatter at various locations. You can't really see it, uh, but you can feel it like right here, for example. The chatter got worse, uh, significantly worse, uh, the deeper of the cut. And this uh, quarter inch depth of cut here has it uh, pretty much on all the sides. Uh, the 16th here, really only feel it in a handful of places. And frankly, I think a quick uh, cleanup pass at full depth of cut, um, finishing pass at a slower feed rate would probably take that out and fix the problem. So uh, I don't think it's a huge deal. It worked out very, very well. This uh, one inch cut, uh, one inch bit here. So we'll set that aside. And then talk about this one. I did a pocketing uh, with this bit as well. Uh, so 60 inches per minute at a quarter of an inch depth of cut, 0.25. 80 inches per minute at 0.25. And then 100 inches per minute at 0.125 or an eighth of an inch. Uh, this uh, results were similar. Uh, it was about what I expected. Now you can see here, it's not straight. I did not screw this down tight enough and it started moving when it was cutting, but um, it's not a huge deal. So uh, again, a little bit of chatter on all of these. Um, this one, however, absolutely positively the worst. Uh, interestingly enough, it's really only on this side, not in this side. Uh, now I use climb cutting, so I don't know if that has any influence on it or not. And this is all this is 100 inches per minute and an eighth inch depth of cut. Uh, so I think s slowing this down to 80 would probably be fine just like it was on the other one. And I get, I wanted to compare and contrast some walnut to some maple because in the final product, I actually have a combination of all. Uh, so this particular cut, I used this round over bit, or I should say a round a bit, not round over bit. Again, I forgot to uh, completely tighten the wood down. So it got a little, a little cranky here on the first cut, but uh, it still worked out. Uh, the, the finish is is fantastic. It's very smooth. It's the proper depth that I was shooting for and the proper width that I was shooting for. So uh, this is at 80 and this is at 60. Uh, just different uh, tests, different speeds. Um, it looks like 80 works fine for this depth of cut. It's not nearly as deep as making the bowl. So I think it'll work out very, very well. Uh, the last thing that I just want to show here um, is these tests that I made here making handles. Uh, these are what we're going to grab onto for the cutting board. And this is a test I made uh, a while ago manually trialing, trying to do it with this guy. Um, didn't work out so well. But uh, what, what we have here is we have uh, the first cut was at 60 uh, inches per minute at uh, 0.125 or an eighth of an inch. This was at 80 at 0.125, and this was at 80 at 0.25 or a quarter of an inch. This was the most aggressive. This is essentially the least aggressive. Uh, they all worked very well. The finish turned out fantastic on all of them. I uh, got a little bit of chip out here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Um, on this one, because I was cutting in both directions in Fusion, uh, in this one, I changed it and only cut in one direction, and there was uh, a little, just a teeny tiny little bit of chip out. Now, uh, the problem with this is this is along the grain. Uh, that's not where the actual handle will be. It'll be on the end, so we're cutting uh, essentially end grain at that point. So I ran one quick test here on the only kind of free side I had <laughs> um, to see, hey, what, how would it perform on the end grain here? And you can see, um, hopefully you can see, in the picture, let's see if I can bring it up a little bit and get it to focus. Uh, light's gonna be kind of hard. Uh, you can see the wisps here. So this was uh, a little too aggressive. Uh, this was 80 inches per minute and a quarter inch depth. It was way too aggressive for the end. There's a lot of chattering here. Um, a lot of chattering. Now I will tell you the surface finish ended up looking uh, very smooth here. 
um, because the, the final cut was actually a little bit of a finishing pass. Uh, so it worked out in the end. Um, and so we could potentially do that if I want to live with the chatter. But uh, there's, there's roughness here on this side. I don't know if you can see it again in the camera. Um, and a little bit of roughness here. So quarter inch depth of cut on the end grain was too aggressive. So probably go with an age eighth and an inch at 60 inches per minute will be fine. And this is with the uh, two, two flute quarter inch uh, up cut spiral cutting bit. Uh, it wasn't the rounded bits that we have here. So it was kind of, it was a straight um, flat end mill cutter. Okay, so that was the result of the test that I ran. If anyone is interested in the Fusion file that I used for it, I'm happy to post it. There's not a whole lot of magic there. I used adaptive clearing on the pockets and then a trace to get the juice, juice groove properly. It took a lot of futzing around to get the juice groove to work properly in Fusion and get the uh, get the cut path that I was looking for. But uh, it overall it turned out very well. So now I'm gonna move on to the next phase of the project, which is actually creating the bowl out of the uh, mixed wood cutting board cut off and the cutting board that I have. So, hey, if you like this video, appreciate a thumbs up. If you don't like it, appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, um, and do all the magic stuff to get a hold of me. Um, down in the link in the bio there, I actually posted, I added my Instagram and my Twitter feed there if anyone's interested in checking me out there. Usually post pictures on Twitter and Instagram uh, of my projects while I'm making them. Um, so if you want to kind of get an advanced sneak peek of, of the projects, that's a good place to do that. And more importantly, though, uh, you'll get to see how long it takes me to actually make some of these projects. It's um, usually taking weeks uh, to plow through a project that you get to view in, you know, eight or ten minutes. So anyway, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Thanks for making it this far. Again, don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, um, and we hope to see everyone soon. Don't forget to be inspired. Okay, so I have some results from the cutting that I did and of the two bits that I used, just to remind everyone, let me uh, zoom in here a little bit. You can see we have this lovely little bit, uh, which is a full, fully round bit. Um, it, uh, God bless. All right. Why is this not working? There we go.